cress. That little plant that's ubiquitous with windowsills and children, you use it with children because it germinates within 24 to 48 hours, giving them instant results, which is what children need because they have very little patience. However, now we're all grown up, how about we grow cress and wait and see what it turns into? Instead of eating the little seedlings, let it grow into a plant. Let's see if it's anything worth doing. Anyway, if you want to find out, watch this video on how to grow cress big boy style. Yay! Hello happy gardeners, welcome back to the Stinky Ditch Wednesday. So we got Shaky on camera, so Shaky. Hiya. And today we're growing some cress, but we're not gonna do it like you normally do. Normally, you get your packet of cress, you get your little bit of toilet paper or kitchen towel, you damp it, you put it in the thing, you put it on the window lill, so it grows and you cut it and you put it in your egg sandwiches. Well, how about we let it grow a little bit more and we find out what the leaves actually look like, what the flowers taste like, and if it goes to seed, if we can use the seed. You can do this at any time of year, really, and so we're gonna do this now. What you will need to do this are your cress seed. They're available at most shops or online, and you get hundreds of them. You don't need to use them all at once. Always remember, you can store your seeds. We also need a receptacle in which to grow our cress. Now, what I'm gonna use here is an old um, Chinese takeaway or Indian takeaway container. I put some holes in the bottom. You see that shakes? Yeah. Yeah. Got some holes in the bottom for drainage. And I've also got a little lid. So we're creating a little greenhouse here and it will stop it from dehydrating. If you get another tub of the same, you can put it in there like that and that will catch all the drips. Perfect, eh? So we also need a bit of compost. There you are, Shaky, show, show the people the compost. This is just a multi-purpose compost and um, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. This stuff grows on tissue paper. However, if we're growing it a little bit bigger than just our little seedlings, we will need some nutrition and this compost will have the nutrition in it. So what we do is we put the compost in here. This compost is already quite damp. If you've got dry compost, fill your tub up and then water it and you sow the seeds after watering it. Otherwise, all your seeds will just float around all over the place with water. So there we go. I've stuck a little bit of that in there. Shaky if you can spin in. Now, it doesn't really matter if it's sieved or not. This is, uh, this is a, uh, you know, the seeds will grow on practically anything. So there we are. I've leveled that off a bit. I've uh, tapped it down a little and cleaned my hands off. And now we're going to get to the seeds. Here we go. Some cress seeds. When you rip a bag open, I always rip them at the bottom because you've always got quite a lot of information on the top and you don't want to lose that. So we just take out a tiny little corner of the bottom there, pop them open, and I'm going to sprinkle a few onto my hand. There we are. And there we are. There's our lovely little cresties. The rest of these, you can keep them. They will keep for over a year. You can put them in a little box in a dry place, you know, in the dark, in a kitchen cupboard or something. You don't need to buy a new pack every time. You don't need to use the whole pack. And so here we are, look, there we go. We've got the seeds there. See them shakes, right? Now, the best way to sow these is you can just sprinkle them or you can make that little groove in your hand like that and give your hand a bit of a tap like this. And as you can see, coming off of my grubby hand, oh, it's so nice to have grubby hands again. I've been stuck inside for so long. You can sprinkle on a few seeds. Now, because we're gonna be growing these into bigger plants, I don't want them to be quite as close together as I normally would if I was just doing some little cress on toilet paper. So I think that'll do, that's all right. I'll put those back in the packet in a minute because I'm such a spendthrift. And there we are, we've got our seeds there. I'm gonna give them a little push down. This is already quite damp compost, so I think we're gonna be okay with it. I'm gonna stick the lid on there that stops all that moisture from escaping and I'm going to pop it on there. Now we're going to stick that on a windowsill. I'm not going to stick it on a south facing windowsill, that'll be a little bit too bright. So you want an east, west or a north facing windowsill. They will start sprouting within 48 hours. If they're not sprouted within a week then you know you've got to start again. I've also written on top what it is. Always label, always label. You think you're going to remember, you never do if you're anything like me. So this has been Robbie Phoenix and Shaky on camera down at the Stinky Ditch windowsill. We're growing a bit of cress and we're going to let it grow. And we're going to see what plant it actually turns into. It's related to the mustard plant. So um, it'd be interesting, won't it? Thank you for watching.